Before we get into this video, there is a Christmas sale where you can get 33% off our Lifetime Phasmophobia package right now. It is currently available for $10 if you use a coupon code CHRISTMAS2023 at checkout. The sale will end on Christmas Day at 10pm GMT. Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you all how to install Project Enzo on Phasmophobia. The first thing you want to do is head over to the Rensify website at v2.rensify.net then create an account if you have not done so already. Once you've created an account, you want to log in. And once you've logged in, you want to head over to the free cheats page. Now there are two ways you can download and install Enzo. The first method I will be showing you is using the official Enzo injector. So on the free cheats page, you want to click download injector and it might originally get flagged as a virus or Trojan, but it will always be a false positive and I promise you do, you do not have anything to worry about. It's 100% safe. And if it does get flagged, you can simply head over to Windows uh, Security and then head over to Virus and Threat Protection. You can press Manage Settings and then you can add or remove exclusions here and then just locate the uh, file of the exe file or download it move it into a folder and add the folder as an exclusion instead and i will also add a link in the description which will tell you the steps on how to add an exclusion anyway once you've downloaded the injector i recommend you create a new folder called enzo injector or something and move the injector into that folder so you know where to find it but yeah please do not rename this exe file because the Phasmophobia developers have made it so if you have specific applications open that are blacklisted, it will most likely cause the game to crash when loading. This can however be bypassed by using a proxy for one of the uh, plugins installed within Phasmophobia. And I'll leave this link in description, you can just follow the steps and yeah. It's just a nice little proxy which prevents Phasmophobia from reading blacklisted process names which will cause a crash. So yeah, it's definitely worth having. It makes it a lot safer to use these kind of injectors and have applications like Cheat Engine, Process Hacker and all that kind of stuff open. So yeah, definitely download and install this. But yeah, once you have the injector, you want to open it. Just press run. And it brings up this nice little console. And it basically loads the DLL file and it says, which injection method would you like to use? You've got one option called auto inject which will automatically open phasmophobia and inject enzo but yeah you need to make sure you are logged into steam and then you've got the second option which is manual inject if phasmophobia is already open simply inject enzo so yeah i do not have phasmophobia open right now so i'm just going to use auto inject and what this will do it will open phasmophobia just give it a second and as soon as it opens it will uh, wait a little bit and then inject the Enzo menu into the game. And that is it, you can see the menu navigation here, press enter to open the menu, home to open ghost information etc. So if I press enter in game here is the menu, just like so, you can do pretty much anything with it. And yeah that is one of the first methods you can use. Okay, so now moving over to method two, we can use an injector like Xenos Injector or Extreme Injector, but for this example, we will be using Process Hacker 2. So this link will be in the description, and what you want to do is download the setup file, the 2.39 setup file, and go through the installation process. And then you want to search for Process Hacker 2 and open that, and it will look like this. And you should see a bunch of like processes here. And if you go to the search bar, you can just search for Phasmophobia. So as soon as you now open Phasmophobia on Steam, it will show up just like so. Yeah, once you have Process Hacker 2 installed, you want to head back to the Rensify website and download the DLL file. So not the injector, download the DLL file. And then just download it. So now you've got this DLL file. So if we head back over to Process Hacker 2, make sure you have Phasmophobia open. You want to right click on it, head over to MISC, inject a DLL, and then head over to your downloads folder, and then click the .dll file. And what this will do is the exact same thing. It will inject the menu just like so. So you can head back onto the game. And press enter to open it 
And yeah, that is basically it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching. And just another reminder, we do have a Christmas sale happening right now where you can get the lifetime premium menu for $10 using the coupon code CHRISTMAS2023. And yeah, that is it from me. And I shall see you all in the next one. Peace.